give to somebody that would be in that two-year transition point where they're, you know, in that very vulnerable spot of mm-hmm. thinking they want to belong somewhere, not quite feeling like it, um, and and having to live with that day-to-day um, sense of unease. What advice would you give somebody? Yeah. So there are always going to be people that are telling you that you're doing the wrong thing. And I think the best thing that I could tell you is to kind of make a little bubble for yourself, keep that bubble positive inside and just let everything else bounce off that because otherwise um, there are lots of people that are going to tell you probably not the best decision. What would you say to those people now? (laughs) So well, honestly, I, I remember I had a, I had a professor. Um, so my path to get into med school here was quite uh, all over the place. So I was in a group where um, we didn't need the MCAT um, to get in. If you were, if you were a Saskatchewan based student, you just needed prerequisite classes that had not expired within a certain time frame. And so, because I had taken all those science classes in my commerce degree, Mm. literally everything had been expired. So I had to go and kind of take higher levels of physics and all of this other thing. So I was taking an, um, an environmental, um, something classic, I remember, but it was covering off for a physics um, requirement and his wife was a physician. And I remember him saying, you know, you're kind of a little bit older to be starting this. Are you sure you want to do this? And I remember leaving his office just like bawling. And that probably set me back like, well, I don't know how much it set me back, but it it took, it really hurt and um, questioned um, my choice again, because I respected him as a, as a professor and like his wife is a physician, like he lives with it. So maybe like he sees something in, in me and, and is kind of warning me. And so that one, that one took a hit for a while. So um, yeah, if I can go back and tell that person now, um, would be, I, I still did it. So I did it.